Right, okay guys, so today is a special day, because um, uh, me and my buddy, Sai, over there. One second, one second, I need to get you. Can you introduce yourself? So, my name is Sai, self-proclaimed powerlifter. Uh, 20 years old, I weigh in the 74 kilogram weight class, that's about 163 pounds. What else is there? I'm studying hospitality, doing my externship, getting back into working out after Ramadan, to a nice three week break. That's about it. Alright, so this guy is basically the one who introduced me to powerlifting. So he's actually very important to me. In my photography book, um, he's one of my chapters as well. So, yeah, for those who don't know, he's actually like a like a really important friend in my life. So today we're going to uh, do a workout. Um, I'm going to stick with his routine. And uh, we haven't done any warm-up sets yet. But um, what we're doing today is uh, we'll probably do some squats, uh, deadlift, and some overhead press. And if we have time, we'll do some accessories. And after that, we'll be going to um, a place called Kiku for some uh, sushi buffet. So um, yeah, I'll film everything we're doing today and uh, hope we'll have a great workout. And plus, plus, this is uh, this might be my last workout with them because I'm moving to um, a new city next week. So this might be my last workout with them. Uh, that's the reason why we arrange all these stuff. We, that's why we're going to sushi today. We're working out together today. Because this might be my last time seeing him uh, in a short period of time. So, yeah, I hope we'll have fun. See ya. Alright, I guess I can start um, doing some commentary on this one. So, as I said, this was my last workout. And, um, you know, it has been, it's been an honor working out in this gym. Because Renee, my buddy, was actually um, the one who brought me to this gym. Then I knew quite a lot of awesome people, a lot of people who, who, who are really into powerlifting, has a passion to lift more weight and get stronger. Um, Said's one of them. So he was actually... Um, uh, the guy who, who introduced me to powerlifting. So, ever since I started working, working out in the gym, uh, well, I, I saw him pretty often, and uh, we had we had a couple conversation, and he asked me whether I want to compete. But I told him that I, I knew nothing about powerlifting, but I was, I was really interested in that sport. So, yeah, he uh, he got me into it, and uh, I. I inserted, um, I basically added some powerlifting uh, spirits or powerlifting mentality into my workout ever since. And I think most of the people working out here in this gym are powerlifters, including the boss of the gym, the manager of the gym. So everyone's really friendly, everyone has been really helpful, and they corrected my form, believe it or not. Uh, before I couldn't even do Astrograss and after them helping me out, yeah, I can do Astrograss now. I improved my form, I'm happy. And uh, as what I heard from, from Saeed, um, uh, he, um, he actually did fasting because of uh, the, uh, what you call it, it's once a year. He's Muslim and uh, I think because of that he did fasting. And just because of that and working routine and schedule all this stuff, he messed up his diet. Um, and well, not messed up his diet, but he um, he couldn't sleep well and everything just went down. Um, and he's now trying to get back into uh, lifting. Uh, I call this as a rehab rehab cycle. It's like you can't lift as heavy as you could like before but you try to get back to the numbers that you had so as you can see here he was uh, he was about to start 
that lifting, but he realized he realized his back was fucked and uh, there's quite a lot of strain on his low back, so he decided not to uh, do that lifting. Oh, I respect that. I get that because I, I, I was there. I've been there. You know, I've had days that I couldn't lift because uh, muscles, my back uh, were aching and uh, I couldn't lift at all. But um, yeah, but I, I did kind of okay today. Uh, as you can see here, this, uh, this is my one set. Uh, 135. Um, you know, I, I actually tried 3.15 today as well. Um, just wanted to see uh, if I can maintain the strength. And I did. I think I improved. My overall strength did improve. I tested my one rep max on squat the other, the other day. And I actually got 2.25 as to grass. Uh, so I was actually really happy about that. Um, bench, um, I didn't do really well. Uh on my bench day but I still believe my overall my overall strength did improve um, and uh, the the size is increasing as well I'm trying to gain some more weight right now my weight is uh, 70 kg but I'm trying to get one or two kg more um, or, and even more in in the later months depends uh, depends how my schedule is because I told you guys I'm uh, I'm moving to another city uh, really soon, so I don't know what's going to happen. I might not be able to get a gym to work out in the next couple of weeks or, or so. So I expect some kind of uh, deform um, or strength decrease, but I'll, I'll see. Uh, okay, so here's my 315 attempt. Actually, that wasn't like really hard to me, but as you can see, my body was shaking as fuck. I, and I think my locked out wasn't perfect. It was like 95. It's 95 percent locked out. It's not completely. It's not a complete full lockout. Well, anyways, uh, today was a kind of short workout. Um, not. I didn't really work out for a long time. I usually work out for around two hours for a sec for a session. But today, since uh, since me inside, we're going to. Um, Sushi for all you can eat. Uh, we decided not to work out that long. And uh, here you see him benching. I didn't bench today because I benched yesterday. And uh, this is his last set. 